Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to do for breakfast. Tilly, you got any ideas? Oh, you got the headphones. Let me try that. Well, it's not really that good. Our days with Tilly are filled with ups and downs. I even tried to tickle her to make her happier, but that just made her cry more. It was hard not to laugh. But breakfast was consisted of corn fritters, which I've never made before. They tasted all right, but we're a bit greasy. Time to get Tills out of here and get changed because we've got to do some packing for Australia. And packing is like one of the most stressful things ever. Got to do some dancing to bring the spirits up. Hmm, socks, shirts, pants. Maybe I need underwear. But first, time to go down to the cellar, get some potatoes and start lunch. We have this awesome like chip cutting machine. It's really good, really efficient. I mixed it with some grill seasoning and it was time to do a COVID test just to make sure we don't have COVID before our flight. It's one of the most annoying things having to not have COVID before going on a flight. Can't they just let me go on with COVID? The chips are looking crispy. And damn, they were good. We decided to eat next to the oven to save dishes because we're leaving to Australia. Okay. Tilly decided to try kill herself. It was a bit of a laugh. <laughs> but time to start packing again nonetheless. Yay! Tilly decided to take all the snacks I packed and take them out of the bag. She really had man of the match here. She could do no wrong. And then she packed herself in the bag. I was thinking, what else could this girl do? And then she started crying because she got herself stuck between the bags. But everything was okay since she tipped all the dirt out on the ground. But you're going to baby jail, little girl, for the rest of your days. I farted here. Yana is disgusted of how bad it smells. <laughs> we were off to get some lunch, but first I needed to tell the time, and there was only one way in my village. The sundial. Perfect. All the family was in, it was time for some beer and some snacks, and they had my favourite, Klebicek, which is one of my Czech favourite foods. So I decided to, you know, finish the plate. But time for relaxing was short-lived, as Matilda needs to go to sleep. So I headed out to the vineyards, just to check out how everything is going. It was really dry, there's not much going on, but the beautiful weather helped our walk a lot. Still. Tilly obviously was crying a lot. I done it, I done it, I'm a legend, yeah! Shh, 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 shh. She's awake again, oh no. Mistake made, noted. Time to head home, it's been a big day. I was trying to make Tilly jealous, but it didn't work. Get to bed Tilly. It's time for Netflix and we have to watch the new season of Bridgerton. Thanks for watching.